Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. On this episode, my good buddies Seth Williams and Michael Clifton and I decide to tackle one of Georgia's wildlife management areas for the 2021 archery season opener. A little bit of arrow fletching going on tonight. A little bit of whatever Seth's doing. Just making sure all my lime green matches, that's all. <laughs> Getting it straightened out. Yeah. Talking game plans. Getting it done. <laughs> so these are some bucks that uh, Clifton shot last year with his bow down in Florida. Yep. Um, yep. Shot this one on opening day. I actually missed the deer, and then it came back in like two minutes later, and I shot it. And then this one was about two weeks later. Uh, both with the bow. So. so we got a little bit of liquid peroxide and we're just gonna do a little bleaching. Look we ready phones. boys? Make sure you hold your phone sideways. Sideways. That's the rule for today. Try to get everybody on this vlog game. Dropping Seth off right now. And uh, Cliff and I are gonna run down the road a little ways farther to where we're gonna split up at. And uh, it's cool out this morning. I think it's, I think it's about 60 out, so. Hopefully, uh, somebody gets something on the ground. Well, this morning, we uh, we got skunked this morning, for yep. sure. We didn't see nothing, all three of us. It was a rough morning. It was, so it's midday. We got us some breakfast. We're about to hop in the river and scout a couple of places from the river, maybe for our uh, next time we come up here in mid-October, but maybe find somewhere for tonight or tomorrow morning as well, so. Yep, hoping to shoot a pig, maybe, on the, on the river. So That's that'd right. be pretty cool. Yeah, Clifton's got his bow we're going to take with us, and uh, we'll see what happens. Seth found saw so him at 30 yards. I uh, I took a shot, but I'm like a little back. I'm just a little back. I'm pretty sure. Um, I got entrance is good, but I think exit's good. And but he's down right over there. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't go anywhere. He went down at first, and he got back up, and then he stood around for a second. Then he ended up going back down. So we're gonna give him a minute or two. Well, we got us a pig. And there she is, boys and girls. Yeah, lots of muscadines in here is what we're talking about. They're in here feeding. So after Clifton killed this one, um, we watched quite a few of them feed through this little um, flat right here, and they went off that way. So we got the arrow. We only brought one arrow because Clifton doesn't have a quiver that clips onto his bow. But, uh, we're gonna sneak after him, see if we can't get one more. It, they're up on them on their feet right now. It's about 1.15 in the afternoon and uh, they're out feeding. So we're gonna do a little more scouting and hopefully uh, there'll be a few more moments where Seth and I wish we'd brought our bows and Clifton can just enjoy all the glory. Until I lose it. Check out this. You can see all the mud on these trees where these hogs have been rubbing up against them. Yeah. There's a great big old hog waller right here where they're coming in and cooling off. Four foot three. Yeah, so that's probably like a 30 pound pig. Well, we're back up at the boat landing now, and um, Seth and I are grabbing our bows. We decided the game plan for the rest of the afternoon is just to keep popping in, scouting different places um, from when they come back in mid October. And um, we're going to grab our bows, and I think it's going to turn into a pig hunt pretty quick. So 
hopefully uh, we'll get it done. But there's a, a lot of places to check on this river and a lot of hogs on this property. So it's going to be a fun afternoon. So hopefully we'll get into them. All right, well, we just stopped off a new spot on the river. We got all three of the bows this time. So uh, pigs better watch out. Round two. Round two. Well, Clifton just uh, stepped on something. Little copperhead. Pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. His eyes are glazed over. He's got shears. So all this mud right here is all fresh hog rooting. And we're at a new spot. Um, we're gonna push in and see if we can't get on one. Well, we just figured out why these hogs are in here. Loaded down with persimmons right here. All these trees are. The tree over there is kind of, I mean, all right on the side of this little swamp. A couple more weeks, this spot right here. It's going to be money. Day two, back in the boat down into the water right now. We uh, decided we'd just make it another scouting trip while we got the boat and maybe get something on the ground. So, we'll see how it goes. On day two, we didn't have any luck coming across any wild hogs, although their sign was everywhere. But what we did find was some great mass producing trees and funnels that we will keep in mind for later on in the upcoming season. We've been talking about how we hadn't found any sheds this whole time in all the woods. Well, I just found one. It is chewed up, we in this bottom. But uh, there she is. Super chewed, look at all that. That makes number 90 for the year for me. All right, it's not the match, but we just spotted another one. Just the beam of one. Super chewed as well. But here, I'm gonna lay this down. As you can see, definitely not the match by any means, unless it was just absolutely a, just a crazy funky buck, but it's, it's not. Maybe we'll get one more on the way back to the truck. We walked by these two on the way in, so who knows? Yeah. Got it, get it. yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. The three of us will be tackling this property throughout the season. And if you would like to keep up with that progress, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like and comment on this video. Good luck to everyone out there hunting.